Men Behaving Badly, which first premiered in 1992, is more than just a beloved British sitcom. It's a cultural phenomenon that captured the essence of young adult life in the 90s. With its witty humor and relatable characters, the show delves into the misadventures of two flatmates, Gary and Tony, as they navigate love, friendship, and the often chaotic world of modern manhood. But what happens to these characters, and the societal attitudes they represent, over the years? Join us as we explore the evolution of men behaving badly, reflecting on its enduring legacy and relevance in today's world. How have the lives of these iconic characters changed? What lessons can we glean from their outrageous antics in a contemporary context? From the original cast to the show's lasting impact, discover the fascinating journey of men behaving badly then and now and see why it remains a touchstone for discussions about masculinity and relationships in modern society. Martin Clunes, born on November 28, 1961 in Wimbledon, London, became a household name with his portrayal of Gary Strang in the British sitcom Men Behaving Badly. In 1992, when the show was being filmed, Clunes was 31 years old. His character, Gary, epitomized a particular brand of male immaturity, a lazy, beer-loving man who frequently dodged responsibilities. Gary worked at a security equipment company, though he displayed little interest in his job, preferring to spend time with his best friend, Tony, and navigating his on-again, off-again relationship with his girlfriend, Dorothy. Gary's character was known for his humor, but there was an edge to him. His selfishness and occasional heartlessness towards others, especially Dorothy, revealed a more complex side to his otherwise carefree, light-hearted persona. While Gary's antics provided much of the show's comedy, his behavior also reflected a generation of men grappling with adulthood, commitment, and the challenges of growing up. Men Behaving Badly became a cult classic in the UK and Gary Strang's character became one of Martin Clunes's most memorable roles. Now at the age of 62, Martin Clunes has enjoyed a long and successful career, becoming one of the most recognized and respected actors in Britain. He is best known for his role as Doctor. Martin Ellingham in the long-running and critically acclaimed series Doc Martin. In contrast to the immature Gary Strang, his portrayal of the grumpy but well-meaning doctor demonstrated Clune's range as an actor, allowing him to explore more dramatic and serious roles while maintaining his unique comedic touch. Clune's performance in Doc Martin earned him widespread praise, and the series itself has garnered several awards over its run, making it a beloved staple of British television. His portrayal of Dr. Martin Ellingham, a brilliant but socially awkward doctor in a small Cornish village, has resonated with audiences for years. The character's bluntness, combined with Clune's comedic timing, brought a unique charm to the role, and the show's picturesque setting only added to its enduring appeal. Outside of his professional career, Martin Clunes has enjoyed a happy personal life. He married TV producer Philippa Braithwaite in 1997, and the couple shares a daughter named Emily. Philippa and Martin have a close working relationship as well, with Philippa often serving as a producer on several of Clunes's projects, including Doc Martin. Their marriage has remained strong over the years, and Clunes frequently speaks of his family with warmth and affection, often mentioning how important they are to him. The family resides in Dorset, where they enjoy a quiet life away from the hustle and bustle of the entertainment industry. Clunes is known to be an animal lover, and his love for the countryside is evident in his choice of residence, as well as his involvement in various animal welfare charities. He has even presented documentaries about animals, such as Martin Clunes, A Man and His Dogs, which showcased his passion for animal rights and conservation. In addition to his work in television, Clunes has made several notable appearances in film, stage productions, and radio. His versatility as an actor has allowed him to take on a wide array of roles, from lighthearted comedies to serious dramas. 
His career has been marked by a dedication to his craft, a willingness to explore different genres, and an ability to connect with audiences through both humor and empathy. As Martin Clunes continues his career, his contributions to British television and film remain significant. His journey from the carefree, irresponsible Gary Strang to the more mature and thoughtful Doctor. Martin Ellingham reflects his growth not just as an actor, but as a person. Today, he enjoys the best of both worlds, a flourishing career and a fulfilling personal life with his wife and daughter. In a world where the pressures of fame can often take a toll on personal happiness, Clunes has managed to maintain a balance, finding success and contentment both on and off screen. Leslie Ash, born on February 19, 1969, in London, is best known for her role as Deborah in the hit British sitcom Men Behaving Badly. When the series began filming in 1992, Leslie was 32 years old. Deborah, as the neighbor of Gary and Tony, was portrayed as a stunningly beautiful and fiercely independent woman. Her character provided a counterbalance to the often juvenile antics of the two men, showcasing a blend of charm and assertiveness that made her instantly relatable to viewers. Deborah was characterized by her friendly and likable personality, but she was also incredibly steadfast. She had a keen sense of discernment, rarely falling for the silly jokes and antics that Gary and Tony would throw her way. Instead of being a mere object of their humor, Deborah often managed to turn the tables on them, using her intelligence and wit to navigate their flirtations and pranks. This dynamic added depth to her character, making her a standout presence on the show and one of the more mature figures amidst the chaos of the male protagonists. Throughout her career, Leslie Ash has demonstrated her versatility as an actress. She transitioned smoothly from television to film, appearing in a variety of roles that showcased her talent and charisma. Following Men Behaving Badly, Ash starred in numerous other television series, including The Comic Strip Presents and Keen Eddie, as well as appearing in films like The Britta's Empire. Her performances have been marked by a combination of comedic flair and emotional depth, solidifying her reputation as a skilled actress in British entertainment. However, Leslie's journey has not been without its challenges. In the mid-2000s, she faced serious health complications due to a failed plastic surgery procedure. The situation was dire, and she experienced a long and painful recovery process that profoundly affected her personal and professional life. Despite the difficulties, Leslie showed remarkable resilience, using her experiences to advocate for greater awareness about the risks associated with cosmetic surgery. This period of struggle taught her the importance of self-acceptance and authenticity, lessons she often shares in interviews and public appearances. Today, at the age of 64, Leslie Ash continues to work in the entertainment industry, but she has also shifted her focus toward more meaningful endeavors. She participates actively in charity work, supporting causes related to health and wellness, particularly those that resonate with her own experiences. Her commitment to philanthropy reflects her desire to give back and help others who may be facing challenges similar to those she has encountered. In her personal life, Leslie is married to Lee Chapman, a former professional footballer and actor. The couple shares two sons, both of whom have grown up in a nurturing and supportive environment. Leslie often speaks fondly of her family life, highlighting the joys and fulfillment that come from being a mother and wife. Their home life is described as peaceful and loving, providing a stark contrast to the public scrutiny that often accompanies celebrity status. Leslie Ash has also embraced opportunities to explore different interests outside of acting. She has ventured into writing and public speaking, using her platform to discuss not only her career, but also her personal journey and the lessons learned along the way. Through these endeavors, she seeks to inspire others to embrace their authentic selves and prioritize their well-being. As Leslie Ash continues her journey, she embodies resilience and grace, both personally and professionally.
Her ability to rise above adversity while maintaining her passion for acting and her commitment to her family is a testament to her strength of character. With a career spanning decades and a life enriched by meaningful connections and charitable work, Leslie remains a beloved figure in British entertainment, proving that true beauty lies in authenticity, kindness, and the courage to face life's challenges head on. Caroline Quentin, born on July 11, 1960, in Raygate, Surrey, became widely known for her role as Dorothy in the popular British sitcom Men Behaving Badly. In 1992, when she filmed the series, Quentin was 32 years old. Her character, Dorothy, stood in stark contrast to Gary's lazy, immature personality. As a nurse, Dorothy was smart, independent, and strong-willed. Her assertiveness made her one of the most relatable characters in the series, as she constantly tried to help Gary become a more responsible adult while not putting up with his childish antics. Dorothy's dynamic with Gary was both humorous and heartfelt. While she was often frustrated with his immaturity, Dorothy's character showed a deep sense of loyalty, and she cared for Gary despite his flaws. This made her role vital to the show's success, as she brought balance to the often chaotic world of men behaving badly. Beyond her role as Dorothy, Caroline Quentin has enjoyed a long and diverse acting career, becoming one of Britain's most beloved actresses. She gained significant recognition for her performance in Jonathan Creek as Maddie Magellan, a sharp and witty investigative journalist who partnered with Jonathan, a magician's assistant who solves complex mysteries. Quentin's portrayal of Maddie showcased her exceptional comedic timing and her ability to play characters that were both intelligent and relatable. Another major role for Quentin came in the crime drama Blue Murder, where she played DCI Janine Lewis, a no-nonsense detective struggling to balance the demands of her job with raising her children as a single mother. This role allowed Quentin to delve into more serious, dramatic material, further establishing her versatility as an actress. Her portrayal of Janine was praised for its depth and authenticity, and Blue Murder became one of her standout performances. At the age of 64, Caroline Quentin remains active in the entertainment industry. Her long and successful career has spanned television, stage, and radio, with her work continuing to garner praise from both critics and audiences. Quentin's ability to seamlessly transition between comedy and drama has earned her a reputation as one of Britain's most talented and dependable actresses. In her personal life, Caroline Quentin has found lasting happiness. After divorcing comedian Paul Merton in 1998, she married Sam Farmer, a TV producer whom she met on the set of Men Behaving Badly. The couple tied the knot in 2006 and have two children together, a daughter named Emily and a son named William. Caroline often speaks about the joy her family brings her, and despite her busy career, she has always placed importance on balancing work and family life. Caroline and her family live in Devon, where they enjoy a quiet and fulfilling life away from the spotlight. Known for her love of gardening and the countryside, Quentin has embraced a slower pace of life outside the bustling world of television and film. She often speaks about the importance of maintaining a close relationship with her children and husband, and how family has always been her grounding force. Quentin is also passionate about charity work and has been involved in various causes over the years. She is an advocate for mental health awareness and supports campaigns aimed at reducing the stigma around mental illness. Her empathy and warmth off-screen are as notable as her performances on-screen, and she is often praised for her commitment to helping others. In addition to her acting career, Caroline Quentin has ventured into presenting. She has hosted several documentaries and lifestyle programs, including Restoration Home, and the world's most extraordinary homes, where her love for architecture and history comes through. These programs showcase another side of Quentin, one that enjoys exploring the world and sharing her discoveries with the audience. 
Caroline Quentin's enduring success in both her personal and professional life is a testament to her resilience and passion for her craft. Her ability to reinvent herself, from sitcom star to crime drama lead to documentary host, reflects her wide-ranging talents and determination to keep growing as an artist. As she continues to take on new roles, Caroline Quentin remains a beloved figure in British entertainment. Her portrayal of strong, relatable women across different genres has left an indelible mark on television. Today, she enjoys the fruits of a long, varied career while living a content, happy life with her husband and children. Balancing family, acting, and her personal passions, Caroline Quentin continues to inspire both her fans and peers with her dedication to her craft and her genuine, down-to-earth personality. Harry Enfield, famous for his role as Dermot in the sitcom Men Behaving Badly, left a lasting impression on audiences with his portrayal of a lazy, yet humorous and irresponsible man. At the time of filming in 1992, Enfield was 31 years old and his career was on the rise. Dermot was Gary's first roommate, known for his carefree nature but also for his lack of responsibility, often finding himself in trouble. He constantly tried to win over Deborah, the woman he was infatuated with, but his efforts frequently ended in failure, creating a string of amusing and awkward situations throughout the show. As a character, Dermot embodied the traits of someone who struggled to hold down a stable job and often got into difficult predicaments. Despite his immaturity and the frustration he caused his friends, Dermot's innocence and humor made him a beloved character. This role was pivotal for Harry Enfield, bringing him into the spotlight and paving the way for his future success in the world of British comedy. After leaving Men Behaving Badly, Harry Enfield's career flourished, establishing him as one of the UK's top comedians. Now 63 years old, Enfield is celebrated not only for his comedic roles, but also for his talent as a content creator, bringing laughter to millions through popular shows like Harry Enfield's television program and Harry and Paul. His career spans several decades, and he has earned numerous prestigious awards for his contributions to comedy, cementing his place as a significant figure in British entertainment. In his personal life, Harry Enfield has found happiness with his wife, Lucy Lister. The couple has three children and maintains a relatively private family life, keeping their personal affairs away from the public eye. Despite his busy acting career, Harry prioritizes his family and ensures that he spends quality time with his wife and children. Enfield's marriage to Lucy Lister is known for its stability and happiness, a rare and commendable achievement in the entertainment industry. The couple has built a strong and loving home together, allowing Harry to pursue his career while remaining grounded in his personal life. Their children have been raised with care and affection, and although Harry is a well-known comedian, he has always ensured that his family enjoys a peaceful, private life away from the spotlight. The Enfields currently reside in a beautiful home in the UK, where Harry enjoys a simple life with his loved ones. At 63, while continuing his artistic career, Harry Enfield can reflect proudly on both his professional accomplishments and his fulfilling personal life. He is not only a celebrated comedian, but also a dedicated husband and father, known for his ability to balance his fame with a strong sense of family values. Harry Enfield's success lies not only in the popular comedy shows he has starred in, but also in his ability to remain true to himself and his personal values. He has not allowed fame to overshadow the importance of family and personal happiness. Enfield is a symbol of dedication, talent, and optimism, continuing to bring laughter and joy to audiences across generations while cherishing the simple pleasures of family life. Neil Morrissey, born on July 4, 1962, in Stafford, England, is widely recognized for his portrayal of Tony in the beloved British sitcom Men Behaving Badly. When filming began in 1992, Neil was 30 years old. His character, Tony, served as the quintessential slacker roommate, characterized by his laziness and frequent unemployment. 
Despite these shortcomings, Tony was known for his cheerful disposition and humorous personality, often bringing comic relief to the show. Tony's immaturity and irresponsibility created a dynamic that resonated with audiences. He was often caught up in his attempts to impress Deborah, Gary's neighbor and love interest, but his efforts typically fell flat. This running gag highlighted Tony's ineptitude in relationships, providing both humor and a touch of pathos. Neil Morrissey's performance brought a unique blend of charm and foolishness to the character, making him both endearing and frustrating to viewers. Throughout his career, Neil Morrissey has showcased his versatility as an actor, transitioning seamlessly between television, film, and stage. Following Men Behaving Badly, he gained critical acclaim for his role as the intelligent and morally conflicted D.C. Nigel Morton in the gripping police drama Line of Duty. This series became a staple of British television, and Morrissey's portrayal added depth to a show renowned for its intricate storytelling and character development. He also starred in the popular medical drama The Good Karma Hospital, where he played a charming and skilled surgeon, further demonstrating his range as an actor. As of now, at the age of 62, Neil Morrissey continues to thrive in the entertainment industry, taking on a variety of roles that keep him relevant and engaged in his craft. His career is marked by a willingness to tackle diverse characters and genres, ensuring that he remains a familiar face on screen. In his personal life, Neil has experienced the ups and downs of relationships. He has been married twice, though both marriages ended in divorce. Despite these challenges, he maintains a positive outlook and has embraced single life, focusing on his career and personal growth. Neil is known for his wit and humor, often using these traits to connect with audiences and colleagues alike. Beyond acting, Neil Morrissey is passionate about various artistic endeavors. He has explored voice acting, lending his voice to several animated series and films, including the popular children's show Bob the Builder, where he voiced the titular character. His involvement in voice work showcases his versatility and ability to engage with audiences of all ages. As he continues to evolve both personally and professionally, Neil Morrissey remains a beloved figure in British television. His journey from the lazy, humorous Tony to a versatile actor and dedicated artist illustrates his growth and resilience. With a career that spans decades and a willingness to embrace new opportunities, Neil continues to captivate audiences, proving that he is not just a character on a screen, but a multifaceted individual with a passion for life and the arts. Robin Kermode, born in 1957, is a versatile actor best known for his portrayal of Ray, Deborah's sophisticated and charming boyfriend, in the popular series filmed in 1994. At the time, he was 36 years old and brought a refined elegance to the role. Ray is characterized by his confidence and charisma, effortlessly pleasing those around him. His polished demeanor often puts him at odds with Tony, whose jealousy and silly jokes create humorous tension. Despite this, Ray remains calm and polite, showcasing his maturity and emotional intelligence. Kermode's performance as Ray reflects the complexities of modern relationships, particularly the dynamics between partners and friends. Ray's ability to navigate challenges with grace makes him a relatable character, resonating with viewers who appreciate the subtleties of interpersonal interactions. His charm not only wins over Deborah, but also captures the audience's admiration, making him a standout character in the series. Beyond his work as an actor, Robin Kermode has established a successful career in various fields. He has appeared in numerous films and television shows, demonstrating his range as an actor. His roles have included both comedic and dramatic characters, allowing him to showcase his versatility and talent. Kermode has consistently sought out projects that challenge him and allow him to grow as an artist, earning him recognition and respect within the industry. In addition to acting, Kermode is also a successful author and communication coach. 
His insights into effective communication have helped many individuals enhance their personal and professional lives. He has written several books on the subject, sharing his expertise and experiences with a broader audience. This dual focus on art and education highlights Kermode's dedication to making a positive impact in the lives of others. In his personal life, Robin is married to C. and Hansen, and together they have two children. The family has built a supportive and loving home, which Kermode often cites as a source of inspiration in his creative pursuits. He balances his career with family life, cherishing the moments spent with his wife and children. Kermode has expressed the importance of family values and education, believing that nurturing relationships are essential to personal growth. At 66, Robin Kermode continues to thrive in the entertainment industry while also contributing to education through his work as a communication coach. He remains passionate about his craft and seeks out new opportunities to engage with audiences, whether on stage, screen, or in writing. His commitment to personal development and effective communication underlines the importance of these skills in both professional and personal settings. Through his portrayal of Ray and his endeavors beyond acting, Robin Kermode exemplifies the qualities of a well-rounded individual, one who embraces the challenges of life with charm and resilience. Ian Lindsay, born in 1939, is a distinguished figure in the world of television and film, particularly known for his memorable portrayal of George, a devoted office worker in a beloved series that aired in the early 90s. When filming began in 1992, Lindsay was 53 years old, drawing on his extensive experience to bring depth to his character. George is characterized by a gentle, shy demeanor, always striving to please his boss, Gary, despite the often unfair treatment he endures. His loyalty and unwavering commitment to following the rules make him a relatable and endearing figure for audiences. In the series, George often finds himself the target of teasing from Gary and his colleague Tony. This dynamic provides both comedic relief and a poignant commentary on workplace relationships. What truly sets George apart, however, is his remarkable patience and kindness. Instead of retaliating against the jibes, he maintains a calm demeanor, often using humor to diffuse tension. This not only endears him to viewers, but also illustrates the strength found in humility and grace under pressure. His character serves as a reminder of the power of kindness in a world that can often feel harsh and unfair. Ian Lindsay's career spans several decades, during which he has appeared in a myriad of films and television shows, becoming a familiar face in the entertainment industry. His versatility as an actor allowed him to take on a variety of roles, showcasing his ability to adapt to different genres and characters. From dramatic performances to lighthearted comedies, Lindsay has demonstrated a depth of talent that few can rival. Despite the highs and lows that come with a long career in acting, he has remained grounded, dedicated to his craft and the stories he has helped bring to life. Beyond his professional achievements, Ian has always valued his privacy, preferring to keep his personal life away from the media spotlight. After retiring, he chose to embrace a peaceful existence, living a life rich in simplicity and contentment. Ian shares his home with his wife, and together they savor the quieter moments that come with their later years. Whether enjoying leisurely walks, reading, or reminiscing about the past, they have cultivated a nurturing environment that fosters love and companionship. At the age of 84, Ian Lindsay is fondly remembered not only for his contributions to the world of acting, but also for the warmth and sincerity he brought to the screen through his portrayal of George. His character resonates deeply with audiences, serving as a beacon of kindness and loyalty in both professional and personal relationships. Ian's journey through the acting world, marked by resilience and dedication, illustrates a life well-lived, filled with rich experiences and heartfelt connections. As he reflects on his career and the impact he has had on viewers, it is clear that the values embodied by George continue to inspire and uplift, leaving a lasting legacy in the hearts of many.
Valerie Minify, born in 1940, has carved out a notable place in the entertainment industry, particularly for her portrayal of Anthea, Gary's secretary, in the acclaimed series that aired in the early 90s. At the time of filming in 1992, Valerie was 52 years old, bringing a wealth of experience and depth to her character. Anthea is depicted as a single middle-aged woman often looked down upon by her boss, Gary. Despite this challenging dynamic, she embodies loyalty and a strong work ethic, making her a relatable figure for many viewers. Anthea's character is characterized by her shy and vulnerable personality, which makes her all the more sympathetic. She frequently faces criticism and unreasonable demands from Gary, highlighting the often harsh realities of office life. Yet what truly sets Anthea apart is her unwavering dedication to her job. She strives to meet expectations and complete her tasks to the best of her ability, even in the face of adversity. This resilience not only showcases her strength, but also serves as a reminder of the quiet determination that many individuals exhibit in their professional lives. Valerie Minify's career spans several decades, during which she has appeared in numerous films and television shows, earning recognition for her versatility and depth as an actress. From drama to comedy, her range allows her to tackle diverse roles, captivating audiences with her performances. Her commitment to her craft is evident in every character she portrays, and she has consistently chosen projects that resonate with her artistic sensibilities. Despite her success, Valerie has always maintained a level of privacy regarding her personal life. Now at the age of 84, she continues to actively engage in her acting career, demonstrating a remarkable passion for her art. Living a single life, she dedicates her time to her craft and continues to seek out roles that challenge her and allow her to grow as an artist. Her enduring commitment to acting speaks volumes about her love for the profession and the joy she finds in storytelling. Valerie Minify's portrayal of Anthea remains a poignant reminder of the complexities of workplace dynamics, especially for women in roles that often go unappreciated. Her character's loyalty, vulnerability, and strength resonate with many, providing a relatable lens through which viewers can reflect on their own experiences. As she continues her journey in the world of acting, Valerie embodies the spirit of resilience and dedication, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of her audience and fellow actors alike. In a world that can sometimes overlook the contributions of individuals like Anthea, Valerie Minify shines as an example of how loyalty and hard work can create a lasting impact. Her commitment to her craft, combined with her ability to portray complex characters, ensures that she remains a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, inspiring both current and future generations of actors. Who is your favorite character from Men Behaving Badly? And how do you feel when an actor from the show passes away? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on my upcoming videos. Thank you.